Hi, welcome to our Abacus tutorial by Hyperlysium team. This video was made by Salman Hosseini and narrated by Kusha Ramadani. In this session, we are going to learn how to import biomechanical parts with different formats into Abacus. This video shows the process for four different formats and if you are interested to have the files, you can find them on our website at hyperlysium.com. There are several ways to create geometry in Abacus CAE itself, but it is always easier to use CAD software to design the components and then import them to Abacus. As you know, this is a common approach for biomechanical simulations. First, I want to show you how to import CAD files from software such as CATIA or SOLIDWORKS to Abacus. To do this, first you have to open the assemble module from SOLIDWORKS CAD software. Here is the heap processes that we want to import to Abacus. Now I'm going to change the format by choosing the file tab and then saving it as a parasolid. Name the component hip and click on save. Now open Abacus CAE. At first we change the work directory by going to the file tab and selecting set work directory option. I changed the directory to the location where I saved my part files. In this example, I don't change the exact location of the files just to show that it is not that important but helps to find your files faster and easier. Now we import the intended part by going to the file tab and selecting the import part option. I set the file type as parasolid and select the part in the folder we have saved it in earlier. We can choose a name for our part and also choose if we want to create individual parts or combine them all into one component. Since we want them separately, I choose the Create Individually Parts option. Then I put them together in the assembly module. However, if we had multiple components and wanted to merge them, we should choose the other option. Then we go to the Part Attributes tab and choose 3D for our modeling space deformable as our type and set the scale to 1. If we needed to change the unit, we could use different values as a scale. As you can see here, all the parts have been imported and you can access them here. Now we set the module to assembly and then click on the create instance button. Select all our parts then click on OK. Now our model is complete. Please note that because we did the assembly in SOLIDWORKS prior to importing it into Abacus, the components have their predefined location, and that's why the assembling process in Abacus went so smoothly. After that, we can assign a material to our hip implant, even mesh and analyze it, but we are not going to cover that in this tutorial. For the second part of this example, I want to import files in a step format. I need to create a second model by going to the Model tab and selecting Create. We leave its name as Model 2 and save it. We can add parts to the second model by going to the File tab and selecting the Import Part option. Here we set our file type as Step and choose our file which is named Spine in the folder. Just like before, we leave the options to be selected as 3D and Deformable. Now we have the files as this one is for the spine model and this one is the disk between the L4 and L5. We set the module to assembly again and click the create instance button. Select the parts and click on OK. Now we have assembled our spine model. Now I move to the third example which is about importing CATIA files. We import the parts just like how it was shown before. This time, we set our file type as CATIA v5 and select the file named Implant2. We leave the setting at the default options and click on OK. This model is a knee implant and as you can see, all our parts are available. We set the module to assembly and click the Create Instance button. Select all of our parts and select OK. Here you can see the femur, the tibia bone, patella, the knee implant and the ligament. Now I move to the last part for importing IGES files. I create model 4. You can create this model by following the steps that were mentioned before. This time we set the parts file type as IGES and select the file named STEMP. We wait for it to load. 
Here we have got a warning showing that we have imprecise geometry. Abacus has some options to resolve this problem which will be explained in the next video. We insert the parts just like how we did it in the previous models. Here you can have all the available models. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions to ask, you can just comment below. Or if you have questions about the software or the models, feel free to email us. Until the next one, have a good time. This video was made by Salman Hosseini. To find his contact information and his updated resume, please visit our website, hyperlyceum.com. Salman is an expert in Abacus, 3Matics, Mimics, SolidWorks, Ketia, and a few other engineering software. To plan online sessions and discuss industrial and academic projects, please use the provided email under Salman's contacts. The cost of the projects vary depending on the complexity of the work and can be discussed in advance. We look forward to working with you.